is Dan Tomasson. Welcome back in. It feels like spring. We're in meteorological spring. Remember, when I say that, we're talking about March 1st. So March, April, May, meteorological spring. Spring doesn't officially start until March 20th. But again, it feels very warm outside. Temperatures in the mid-50s for Anvil. Plenty of sunshine. Same thing goes for Gettysburg. During the midday hours, we were fighting some clouds. That was a warm front coming through. Now, that front has surged through. Look at temperatures, 57 in Lewistown, Waynesboro 57, Camp Hill and Newville 53 and 54 with winds blowing out of the southwest. And notice what's off to our southwest here. Temperatures near 80 degrees for Bowling Green and Charleston, West Virginia. Not too bad. It does take some time, though, for that to get east of the mountains as warm fronts typically do around this area. Keep this weather pattern in mind. We'll see a repetition of this heading into Friday, but at least for now, again, warmer air moving in through tomorrow. So the next 24 hours are relatively simple. We see a few clouds tonight, maybe a shower or two during the overnight hours through early tomorrow morning, but we clear that out as we go through the morning commute tomorrow. And in fact, tomorrow offers a lot of sunshine. Temperatures could get close to the mid 60s tomorrow. It is going to be a very nice day with a nice warm breeze coming through. Now, keep in mind, Thursday night into Friday, we begin to see already a change. Another storm coming in from the south and southwest. And believe it or not, we do get some cold air to settle in just ahead of that. And if you've heard this before, it's been the tune throughout the winter time that just enough cold air that we start out with a wintry mix during the midday hours Friday. I think Friday morning is just fine. It takes a while into the afternoon for this to develop, but notice when it does. It's a wintry mix of snow, possibly some sleet and then over to rain. Rain will win out with this storm, but it may take a couple hours of this wintry mix before, before we see that change over to some heavy, steady rain by Friday night and a cold rain at that. So temperatures all important here as we look ahead tomorrow, 63. But Friday, we're down into the 30s. So again, that large transition time is the problem. So during Friday morning, again, we're zooming ahead to Friday morning's forecast. Wintry mix develops, brief snow and sleep period. It could be two hours, could be three hours before we transition to warmer air and a cold rain during the afternoon and evening of Friday into the nighttime hours. Again, this is Friday we're looking at in the forecast, but we also want to look ahead to much of March, and I want to send it over to my colleague, Chief Meteorologist Eric Fingerbinder, along the Susquehanna River. Eric, over to you. Hey, hey. Yeah, Dan, I'm just enjoying another 50 degree day, which uh, we've had more than 30, 30 days into the 50s so far this year. Let's take a look at that seven day forecast. Or so once we get past Friday, we start looking for, OK, where are those really warm days, right? Well, they're a little tougher to find. We've got more days in the 40s this weekend, a few 50s into next week. But do we continue with this warm pattern before we talk about March? A recap of our meteorological winter, December, January, February, third warmest on record. Uh, we didn't even have six inches of snow, so we had our third warmest January on record, our second warmest February on record, leading to a very warm winter. So moving forward, as we start to see the pattern that we've had the last two months, where this, you could call it a Bermuda high, really giving us this southwest flow, pumping in the mild air that we had, giving us those days in the 50s, even 60s, and even a handful of 70s the last two months. That's going to begin to change, and as we look toward our weather team's March outlook, you see that we begin to see more of that cooler air sinking south. So here's our official outlook where that warm pattern is beginning to fade away. We even see that now in that seven day forecast and we're going to say cooler than average, not cold. We're not talking about extreme cold, but more days in the 40s, low 50s are likely to be more common this month. When we're talking rain or mix or even snow, there will be weekly chances similar to what we saw this week, and there's likely some mix at times. If everything lines up, Dennis and uh, Valerie, there could be some snow chances. Right now we don't see any, but at this point it looks like perhaps a little bit of that winter chill may hang on into March. Eric, thank you very much. What a beautiful day out there on the Susquehanna. Mm -hmm. What a remarkable day, I should say. And coming up, meet one of ABC 27's remarkable.